Oh, this is gonna be hard. I should have turned my phone the other way. Cause look at it. <laughs> turn it the other way. It's not gonna let me now. Oh, this is gonna be wrong. I reject it. Why are you standing it straight Stay up? It it's gonna fall over. No, it's not gonna fall over. It I falls do this over. every night, Kyle. Falls over. When I go live. What do you mean? Get off Facebook. Hi, Jelly Donuts. How are you? So we are going to be taste testing all of these goodies from Vegan Eats. I should have turned my phone the other way, so Kyle and I are going to be, like, squished together. <laughs> <clears throat> and Kyle and the kids and I did try one of the brownies from them so far. This is a small company called We Vegan Eats, and they make a ton of different desserts gluten-free desserts vegan desserts so the kids kyle and i did try um a little taste of one of the brownies and they were a little dry a little dry okay they were pretty dry were so dry. hopefully i've got a ton of snacks here so hopefully some of them are good of course the dogs are gonna want to come in now you gonna let them sounds in sounds like winnie it does sound like winnie mm -hmm. i bet it's both of them though mm -hmm. Oh, you it's like, right. where's daddy? I told you it's both of them. Come on. Not on my no, lap. not on your lap. <laughs> I swear, this dog can, uh, smell. We just said not on my lap. Hold on. Our address is on their keys, so you need to be really careful. Oh, fine. Hi, Ezreal. Hi, SMC. How are you guys? What are you doing? Um, so I'm not Wiccan. I'm more of like, I identify more as like a chaotic witch or chaotic magic. So I don't really have good recommendations for books on Wicca. Maybe somebody in the comments can help with that. But um, as far as the tarot deck, I just say look up tarot decks and just go with the one that calls to you. That's my best advice. Hi, Deep Soul. I'm glad you made it. Maybe Deep Soul can help you a little bit with that. But I honestly, again, don't have any recommendations when it comes to books on Wicca. Sorry. So we have a ton of different treats in here. So again, we... This one's my favorite. <laughs> So we, again, did try one of the brownies earlier, and they were a little dry. So hopefully these are better. They are vegan. Some of them are also gluten-free. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly what we have here. We have this really pretty brownie. Then we have another pretty brownie. We have the gluten-free peanut butter swirl brownie. Oh, we'll get a knife. Yeah, I forgot to grab a knife. We have two different strawberry swirl um loaves i'm obviously only going to open one of them we're not going to open both then i have two pineapple upside down cakes which i love pineapple upside down cake again we're not going to open both of them then i have this birthday cake loaf and then we have two s'more pies so they're like s'mores and a pie i'm only gonna open one and then last but not least we have this ginormous cookie <laughs> So there's a lot of stuff here. I'm going to put these to the side. And I'm only going to do one of these brownies because I don't need to eat both of these brownies. Kyle and I used to do a lot of taste testing videos back in the day on my channel. And we thoroughly enjoy doing these. We love doing the crystal unboxings together and the taste testing videos. So, um... I was like, well, we might as well just go live and do it. I think that would be more fun. Where can I put my tripod? Fancy. Do I have coffee? Um, absolutely. <laughs> In my one of my new Dunkin's cups that I treated myself to when I passed my test. Me too. So I have white chocolate syrup in here, um, Starbucks cold brew concentrate, and my kefilla i think is how you say it yeah i'm concentrating okay. the oat milk so oat milk makes the coffee really dark but i love oat milk it doesn't hurt my stomach thank you deep soul so funny story is i was wearing a different shirt today 
wears many shirts. No, I wore one shirt. Well, I had two different outfits on today, but one of them was what I slept in. So I had a different shirt on today, which is I did my makeup to that shirt. And then I took a bunch of photos that I really liked because I'm also wearing these stockings. And it's a t-shirt dress and the other one was a t-shirt dress. Well, I spilled coffee all over the front of it, the other the other shirt, so I had to change. <laughs> she can get her license, but she can't operate a cup. Well, I took a sip from the wrong hole. I know. Oh. I know. That's why I say you can't operate a cup. Yeah, Deep Soul, do you have any recommendations on good books for Wicca? Because I don't have any good, or anybody in the chat, actually. It is a sublime shirt. I actually have a sublime tattoo on my thigh as well. It says a cigarette pressed between her lips, but I'm staring at her. It's the wrong way. No, you're not coming up, dude. I don't want this on him. No, because he's going to start growling because he can't I don't care. You, you don't understand why I'm saying that. Okay. You're not coming up. No, you're not coming up. Can you just put him on the bed? He'll be fine if you put him on the bed. Flying Vincent. <laughs> now they're gonna think we th we th we're throwing our dog because you said flying. All right. So what should we try first, you guys? I'm like Bless really you. into this upside down pineapple cake and then this i think is just like a birthday cake loaf the sprinkles are already starting to melt because it's hot then we have the strawberry loaf strawberry swirl loaf the s'mores pie the cookie uh peanut butter brownie regular brownie and kyle's gonna have to go downstairs and heat some of these up in between trying because it says on the packaging to heat everything up for like 10 seconds before and we, we thought about bringing the microwave up here but we're like no we're, i was like no i'm not doing that we're not doing that so he's I'm just gonna have to the microwave right there. no we were not bringing the microwave up here they wanted to see so if you guys have any questions about ingredients in each thing i also they also sent this really nice detailed ingredient list which i thought was really awesome as well and i'm not vegan but i do like to try vegan food Winter, what are you doing? Get away from the box of the food. Bugs. I swear, our Pomeranian can smell food from a mile away. <laughs> birthday cake loaf. Okay, I see birthday cake loaf. Hi, Con Candy. How are you? Oh, now I want Con Indigo, candy. how are you? Yeah, I've read some books um, by Raymond as well, and they're really good. I know the pineapple upside down cake does look good. Okay, so maybe we'll do the pineapple upside down cake first and then we'll do the birthday cake loaf after. You like pineapple upside down cake, babe? Remember when I bought all that stuff to make pineapple upside down cake and then I never made it? I don't even know if I had pineapple, whatever the hell you call it. You've never had this? I don't think so. I don't know if this is one that we're supposed to heat up. Do you think we should heat it up? No. Well, I don't want it to... Hopefully, all these aren't dry because, sadly, the brownie that we tried was pretty dry, you guys. But the once we he heated it up for the 10 seconds, it was a little bit better. But that's why we have so many drinks with us. It's yeah, I went from wanting a gallon of milk to a cup. Half a gallon? Oh, just a cup. Yeah. By the way, if you guys didn't know, this is Kyle, <laughs> my boyfriend. And if you guys have any questions for us, we're totally down to answer them. Kyle's pretty chill with that. I do love how they put these in these little tins, too. Oh, so you're supposed to cook them. Oh, so they cook them like this, and then they send them. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, some places just do it like this, like, you know, but they actually sent it in the tin, which I thought was cool. Probably to keep it together, right? I haven't well, had... probably because pineapple upside down whatever the heck you call it, is probably more moist than... It does look moist than the other things. Yeah. I agree with that. Everyone's saying, hi, Kyle. No. Okay, question about ingredients. Do they use anything with tree nuts? I'm interested in getting some, but I'm allergic to tree nuts. Good question. All right, so the pineapple upside down cake. Let's see what the ingredients are for that. Wait, is a peanut considered a tree nut? To be honest, I don't know. I know, like, almonds are, I believe. 
That's a good question. I don't know, babe. I know peanuts are in the ground. So Where is the darn pineapple cashews. upside down cake on here? Oh, cashews. Uh. Rosetta. Rosetta. Okay. Am I just blonde? Pistachios. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. You say are you blonde? It's got peanut butter. No, it's not the peanut butter. Okay, for some reason the upside down cake isn't on here. That's weird. I think this is like a limited thing they have because I saw on their website that they um what what side do you want? Like so I want some with the pineapple in it too. I don't want to waste it any of it either though. This is gonna be so messy. We should have brought like napkins or a freaking thing up here. I'm only going to take small bites because I can't eat as oh, much so as he can. Oh, so you give me the big bees? Well, you can eat a lot more than I can. Not I can't eat as much. Summer, my but it does look like, um, as real to answer your question, it does look like some things have almonds in them, but other things, almond milk, sorry, but some things don't as far as like nuts are concerned. Um... So far, that's really all I'm seeing as far as nuts are concerned. Is like almond milk, which is because they're vegan, right? And then some things have peanut butter in them. But unless it states peanut butter in it, then I think you'd be good. But the really cool thing at, for them as well that I like is that they list all their ingredients of what's in everything on the site as well. So you can look and see. You like it? Do you not like it? He's a he's like a Gordon Ramsay for taste testing, by the way. <laughs> it smells good. If I knew what pineapple cake tastes like, uh, I would give you my proper opinion. But it's got this really weird aftertaste. It might just be me. Mm mm. This is good. This is good. It does have a weird aftertaste though. It is really good though. For something with pineapple in it, you expect it to be more pineapple y. Well, that's why. No, it just has a pineapple on top, babe. It doesn't have pineapple through it. Well, I make mine with pineapple juice through it too, but. It's moist. It's not it too is bad. very moist. It's not dry. I might have you go grab paper towels. I know, I'm sorry, but I don't want to get this all over my clothes. Use my damn shirt. Okay. Jeez. What's new? That's what it's used for. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm getting lipstick on myself too. At least I have a makeup rag right here. I'll wipe your face. These are picture. from We Vegan Eats. The I put it in the, the title, um, Lissa, if that helps. Why does that taste from I can't believe people have never heard about um pineapple upside down cake either. That was like always something at pound every cake. every pound. That's what I'm It is of. it is like a pound cake. That's what I'm tasting. I'm tasting pound cake. I was like, it tastes like a sweeter version of pound cake. Yeah, see, I haven't, <laughs> I'm like you, Deep Soul. I haven't read anything from, like, that's Wiccan or Wicca based in a very long time. Like, since I was a teenager, probably, to be honest. So, and it's been so long since I read any of those books. Now, if you ask me, like, some good books about chaos magic and stuff like that, or journals or things of that nature for tarot, I could be it helpful possibly but <clears throat> uh, all right the it birthday depends. cake depends so you did like the pineapple upside down one it's not bad but it's got weird aftertaste even if i'm like because you said it's related to the uh to the pound cake right yeah it's like i would say it's like a pound cake flavor yeah but even like pound cake for a pound cake this has a weird aftertaste i thought it was good but I'm not as critical. I'm pickier than he is with food, but he's more critical of food than I am, if that makes sense. Oh. Let's just say if I get sick and I lose my taste, I'm not eating until it comes back. Yeah, he's very weird with food. Well, I mean, we all are. Peanuts aren't a tree nut, but people with tree nut allergies tend to have a peanut allergy. Yeah, I feel so bad for people who have allergies in general, let alone um, nut allergies. I what, couldn't imagine. What? is classified as a tree nut. Well, maybe Azrael can answer that. Oh, maybe like coconut. Um, is coconut a tree nut? I don't, I don't know. Is it, you're just thinking of things um, that have nut in them? 
Oh, I just got here. You guys are not late. Don't worry. Three hours late. Behind schedule. Inefficient. Oh, no. It's not a new series name. <laughs> it's the We Vegan Eats is the company name. Even though that would be a cool series name. But I'm sure they copyrighted that. Well, so this I is the birthday cake pound, which is this on here? <laughs> are, are you having fun? Because a lot of the stuff I ordered is like... Um, cause they always make like limited edition desserts. So a lot of this stuff that I ordered is limited edition desserts, but they have like, um, Reese's or they did the last time I looked, they had cookies and cream Bless Reese's you. stuff. They had, um, Butterfinger stuff. The Butterfinger thing looked really good. <clears throat> Let me our, see. I wonder if our dog would swim like that. I don't know. The way he I wish we could take the, the dogs to the beach with us, but sadly we can't. Nope, this one isn't on here either, so it's a limited edition <laughs> one. But again, if you go to their website, I will link it with the re-upload of this. What is this? This, this is, is the birthday cake one. So either, probably most likely vanilla. Oh, it seems kind of hard. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is my first time ever trying their stuff, oh, so. Oh, God, please no. You don't like it? I'm already scared. Look how thick that frosting is. I know. Kyle's on a big one on frosting. Like, uh -huh. thick frosting. Well, you want to just share this little piece? Because I'm sure the kids would like this. Yeah. It looks really dry. <laughs> you can just tell by looking at it. Uh, I want to love them. I like the pineapple upside down cake, but I think that's a limited edition thing. I don't think it's a... Already points off in my book. Way too much freaking frost. I'm going to have to sweep tomorrow in this filming room area. Oh, yeah. Dry. Fuck. Mm. No. Oh, it's a so no for dry. you. Okay. Well, we're going to throw this in the trash. Hope the dogs don't try to get into it. I'll try it. Like, drier than the brownie. They overcooked it. These remind me of my coworkers' muffins <laughs> that I always air so dry. When you have to like yeah. basically like I mean the kids will probably eat it, so I'm not too mad about that. When you have to delodge it from the back of your teeth because Oh it's my stuck hands there. being sticky. I hate being sticky. Yeah, 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 here you go. I'm gonna have to sweep tomorrow though, because of all these crumbs. Yeah, but like Look! Look how thick that frosting. Some people it's like, like that. It, it's like an inch. We don't. Uh, we're not thick, fro thick. Yeah, we're not thick frosting lovers in this house. Hopefully, this is better. <laughs> I'm already scared. You're scared of that one too. Well, so far we got one hit, one miss. Uh, did you just like <laughs> that? Did sound pretty rock hard. <laughs> Stop! Don't break it. <laughs> so you guys know usually it's my daughter who doesn't want to go to sleep for us and tonight it was the opposite tonight it was our son he like would not go to sleep <coughs> at all for us we're like come on we want to we don't want to go live too late and i still need to film after i go live so i'm, I'm like work on my model no your model no, so we gotta judge yeah, you know, too much PDA. P P PDA. P is it? <coughs> Excuse me. Coconut is a fruit. I know. I think he was just saying like uh, things that had nut in it. <coughs> oh, almonds, so almonds, and walnuts. almonds, walnuts, pistachios, etc. Really? I thought I. I'm pretty sure pistachios grow underground. Because they usually harvest them. And then I'm sure the person who has them. the allergy would probably know more of what they need to look out for. Like how Maddox has a milk sensitivity, so, or dairy sensitivity. I'm curious. Did you take their collars off? Yeah, I did. Smart man. <laughs> I guess a lot of people aren't um, into the thick frosting. We always think we're the only ones with that because so many people love thick frosting. Anytime we oh, are, super like, sweet frosting. Like when the kids were in Head Start, we would always donate the cake for graduation and we would want like the light frosting and everyone would be like, oh, the frosting. We're, we're like, ugh. <laughs> Hi, Equinox. How are you, my darling? Pistachios. Are you really looking at pistachios right now? My skin is so dry. Yeah. I swear it's from that 
water we're using, the spring oh, water. It's making my dry round. My... Oh, I'm sorry. You better be sorry. You better mm-hmm. apologize to Azrael right now for questioning that pistachios are, are grown underground. I, are I, you hot, my boys? What go get figure? some water. It's not even hot today. It was cold today. It's, That's why we didn't go to the beach. It's got to be um, peanuts in that I'm thinking of. Whipped cream icing is all I can handle. Yeah, we like the oh, light, light icing. Cream frosting. Yeah. Mm, can eat that all day. Oh, I love it. Really, really light. And Kyle makes butter, and he also makes um, whipped cream. So he just made it with the kids the other day while I was at work, actually. It was funny when my my uh, mother-in-law's husband came over and said that we needed to start teaching the kids how life lessons and, like, how to do stuff and incorporate um, us cooking with them and things like that. And we're like, we already do that. We've done that since they were literally infants. <laughs> oh, peanuts. Hi, Jelly Bean. Sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean to miss your comment. How are you? By the way, how is everybody? I feel rude for... Not even asking now. Hope everyone had a good day. I literally slept until like 2 o'clock. I was supposed to go to work today, <clears throat> but that ended up not happening due to sitter situations. And I felt bad because my work was slammed, but I slept so late. I was up till like 4 a.m. though, so my sleeping schedule is so whack right now. All right, so loaf. I yeah. say I slept I'm so thinking, late, I'm but it was after the fact. I was up, and then I slept. I'm thinking of peanut. Peanuts? Yeah. Oh. So we have the strawberry loaf, which this looks really good, and it actually seems <laughs> kind of moist. I'm not giving it any chance. This one we're probably going to have to heat up because it's it it s'mores. Tin. It has marshmallow in it. Well, yeah, you don't want to heat it up with the tin in there. Oh, why not? It makes so many pretty sparks. <laughs> I just got a new microwave. We don't need <laughs> it to blow up on us. We have the one down cellar. And then, yeah, that one's <laughs> old and gross, though. And then we have this big, giant cookie, which I feel like I need a big cup of milk for. I don't even think we have regular milk in the house right now. We just have oat no. milk, banana milk, banana, banana almond milk. That's it, right? Oat yeah, milk and banana so. almond milk. And then we have the regular brownie and the peanut butter brownie, which if we do these, we're going to heat these up too because I want to get the full experience. No, they're dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know the pineapple upside down cake is really it's good. Half empty. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> this is the Melt 420 palette. I'll actually show you what palette it is. Move for a second. <sighs> All right, watch your pause, dog. I don't know if they sell it anymore because Melt Cosmetics comes out with a new palette every 420, and this was the two years ago palette. Scratches. Scratches, scratches. Give me the scratches. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Watch out, Winter. Yeah, always in the way. We should call you Winter. We should call you always so in the way. So the packaging on this, by the way, is bomb. Look at all that shatter. And then, Shatter. yeah, you don't know what that is because you don't partake in that. No. I think but this is the palette. Thing. So I used <clears throat> this yellow on this eye, and I used this green on this eye, and then I did my outer outer corner with this, and that was it. Super simple look. But the neons pop in this palette. Like, it's so good. <clears throat> I'm, like, hit or miss with Melt Cosmetics, though, but I haven't used this in forever, and I was going to use a different palette today, but it wouldn't have went with my outfit. It would have clashed so bad. No, you said that. You made me think of that meme. What meme? Hit or miss. I guess you never miss, bruh. <laughs> Whatever the heck it's called. I only use browns. I'm scared to try color. Oh, just, if you're scared to try color, just incorporate it slowly. <laughs> like, put a little dash on the inner corners, or throw a little bit in the crease, or throw a little bit on the lid. Are you swimming on the bed? He's like his blue like. Oh wow! I'm so sorry. That's that does seem like a rough day, Deep Soul. What? They had a rough day. They found out someone passed away, and then they um, got a call. Someone's storage was broken into, or their storage was broken into. Wow! What a hell of a day. Yeah, right. That is a crappy day. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good day. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that you're taking your mind off of stuff. Oh, you stop sneezing all over my I know. Head. The dogs are up our booties. It's like food. Food. Food, 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 food. 
All right, so let's see. What do you guys think? Cookie next. I thought we were going with Swirl. that. Swirl. Make up your mind. Are they choosing? Yeah, they're choosing. Oh, okay. <laughs> S'mores or one of the brownies. You need to come in the frame. I should have done the phone the other way. Also, don't forget, if you're enjoying this, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Cookie or brownie. Kyle isn't exactly wrong. Like, peanuts, pistachios aren't true nuts. Pistachios also aren't legum, 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 legum. Yeah, that, that word. <laughs> Either those pistachios are usually lumped into tree nuts when speaking of allergies. Wow, I didn't know that. See, it goes, so goes to show you what things, I know. They, so they just make things complicated. Well, everything's complicated yeah. in life. Yeah, the dogs, that's literally why they're up our butt, especially winter. But, like, winter's more Kyle's dog, and he gets even though I've rescued weird. all of the animals that we have, yeah. somehow. Uh, no, no. Pretty Kitty. She came to me. Let herself in. She came to me. She let herself she in. She came to me, let and then her, she had kittens She let while herself I was at work. In. Had kittens underneath my bureau, and then was like, I like this guy. Oh, she liked you. <laughs> I feel like she only bonded with you because she lived with you the whole time I was in rehab. No. Yes. It was immediately. Oh, it was an immediate bond because she was my girl. Okay, she sat with me many crying nights, I think many a, sick I think days. A, I think a lot of it was is that she knew she couldn't take care of her kittens. Well, she couldn't. She was so malnutrition from being outside. She was like skin and bones. I have pictures of her when we first got her, and she was like, now she's a fat girl. She's a little chunky thing. These sprinkles look weird. They do look weird. You thought so, too? Yeah. They like almost look artificial, right? Yeah, they do, and I'm scared. The now. sprinkles, they look fake, but they're not. And then Winter, I rescued him or adopted him, and he loves Kyle. Vincent Thanks. is my dog, though. Vinny's my dog. And then Ninja is you kind of Mr. like... Mr. Attitude. Ninja's... Yeah, Vinny is Mr. Attitude. And then Ninja, our other cat, he... I rescued him. He is like the kid's cat, mainly Madeline's cat. <sighs> oh, I got him that shirt, the Nirvana shirt. Oh, I just realized we're both wearing band shirts. <laughs> I'm wearing uh -huh. Sublime, you're wearing Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shirt. Yeah, Kyle doesn't really care about clothes. I pick out a lot of his shirts. Except for that Yoda shirt. Yeah, the Yoda tie-dye shirt. I need to get a frame, frame for, that. for that. He won't even wear the shirt that I got him. Hi, Jason. We're just playing with food. <laughs> Sorry, it's not baby Yoda. It's uh, Google on or whatever the hell. No, is. you boys are not coming up. Oh, please, Mommy, please. No. Oh. Really? Oh. You can't jump, but yet you can jump up this time. We had to take their collars off because our addresses are on there. Look at that tail wag. But this is the grumpy old man we call him. He's my baby, but he's so... Look at him smell the food. They're so spoiled, too. I just gave you treats before we came up here. I know. I know, right? They smell good. Also, if you guys have any questions for us, you can ask as well. Wait. Any me. questions? No, no questions off the table, really. Unless it has to do with our kids. They're brats, too. They can be brats. <laughs> Vincent. Cookie, go for the cookie. He's the oldest of them all. He's 10. Actually, we don't technically know how no, old No, I have his birthday. Oh, her, how old she is? No, we don't know how old she is. It is massive, isn't it, Lissa? We're not going to eat all of it. We're probably just, like, cut a little bite off and then give the rest to the kids. Now, there's only one cookie that I know of. How are so, you, Janet? It's the cookie I'm good. from um, down below that my mother would bring home. Oh, so good. Oh, I, I don't know how um how old you are, but I'm 31. Kyle, how old are you? 28? I don't know. I stopped keeping track after I hit 21. I think you're 28. I don't know. I, I think you're like two years younger than me. <laughs> that happened to me, though. I, was, I thought I was 27 for like three years. But I was really like 25. Yes, we do live in the U.S. Um, I'm originally from New Hampshire. I live in Vermont now, but I lived in Florida, Georgia. I've lived in Pennsylvania. Kyle's lived here his whole life. Um, and a few other states I've lived in. I've lived in a lot of states. Do you forget what year it is? Well, these are good bands, so... Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be like a cream. That's what it said on the website, but it's hard like frosting. 
It'll be 29 this year. So it'll be 29 this year. Yeah, Kyle and I are both Sagittariuses. So he his birthday is the 10th of December, and mine is the 25th of November. <laughs> my birthday is actually on the on Thanksgiving this year. Yeah, we're going on my dad. No, he's not in recovery. He is the one of the main reasons of why I got help. Who? Because. Me? Yeah. No, somebody else. Because he was, like, yeah, the I'm, only person who actually believed I'm in me. I'm uh, currently recovering from uh, stupid people. <laughs> no, but he doesn't do anything. Sorry. He's never had any um, addictions. Unless you unless you call Gundam model what? building addictions. Why are you staring at me? But that's his special interest, so. Why are you staring at me? But he's wagging his tail so hard. It's, like, hitting my armpit. Look at this. Look at this tail going. But no, he's not um, in recovery. But he is like my biggest support system and always believed in me when nobody else did. I'm and saw I'm, beyond I'm the... A, I'm addicted to good computers. Yeah, he's a tech geek. It happens, forgetting your age. Yeah, it's just a number. So many years. Sagittarius I love it. I'm a December 14th oh, Sagittarius. Awesome. Here. Go ahead, go sit on daddy's lap so we can open this cookie. Really, dude? So, this was supposed to be cream in the middle, Kyle. You're going to end up showing a nip. But it looks like frosting, doesn't it? Look at it. Oh, what? Yeah. No. Doesn't it look like frosting? It was supposed to be cream. That's what it said on the site. It's pretty hard. Tara. I know. I wouldn't have bought it if it said if it was frosting. This might be a wah, wah, wah. See. At know, least the pineapple upside down cake is good. I the, got two of those. The only thing I've had besides this stuff for vegan or. Well, you've had my I, vegan. No, it's just, soups. I think it was just vegetarian. Um, Was, it was like a vegetarian burger. That was pretty good. Um, And a vegetarian hot dog with like cheese and. Yeah, that was vegetarian because um or something like no, not because no. because um vegan is like no no animal byproducts. Even if it's fake. Well, yeah, I mean anything that can come from an animal, so like milk, um, any kind of meat, so cheese, that kind of stuff. Oh, no, Eggs. No cheese. Lactose intolerance, but I still love cheese. Yeah, he's weird. <laughs> um. Well, in my mind, is it worth it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, my <laughs> stomach hurts. That only bothers me at three o'clock in the morning. So, oh, somebody said something about healthy relationships. So, yeah, our relationship hasn't always been healthy because trust me, I when I was in active addiction, I was very violent and mean, and um, it was complicated. Just not a good person. <laughs> Um, Let's just say ramen noodles got involved. Yeah, I like he still brings up when I threw ramen noodles at him. But yeah, I would like go after his car with stuff because I wanted money it didn't and quite like make it all the way down the hallway. All this other jazz. So we definitely have gone through some things, and we're, we still grow, and like you know, we still make mistakes, and we still disagree on things. But you know, it's. You got to talk about it. Communication is very important. Actually, I don't even remember how that whole situation. You just remember the ramen noodles. I, I just remember ramen noodles flying. I think I was. Me I think I was sick it. from not having stuff, and I was trying to get money from you. And I believe I had just stolen your wallet, like the night before, and taken your money. And then I was trying to play dumb, like I didn't know where it went. Video and know. then you were like, I'm not giving you money. I have to make my car payment. And I said, after your car payment, you can be late, which is what I would always say. And then you were like, no, I'm not doing it. And then ramen noodles got thrown. Because <laughs> you were like, I'm going to make ramen noodles. And I was like, fuck you, ramen noodles. I remember where you tapped the TV, too. Oh, when I hit the TV <laughs> and I shattered it, I had to buy him a new TV, but I barely hit the TV. I mean, it wasn't right for me to hit the TV, but I barely hit this TV because I was sick. So I was, that's when I would be the most angry is when I was sick because the obviously only, I didn't want to be, the only feel thing like you that. could see on the TV was the little animals planet symbol Animal in planet the symbol, yeah. So I like hit it because I was mad, but I barely tapped it with my knuckles and it shattered and I'm like, 
how does that happen? So I had to buy a brand new TV when I got sober. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Jason. Oh, yeah, Becca, I'm super open about my Where past. Go warm the cookie. <clears throat> I don't know. Should we warm it? What if the, the frosting goes? <laughs> It'll be better than whatever that is. Are like, you sure? It's like Vincent heard you say warm the cookie because he got down. Yeah, warm the cookie. Yeah, warm you, the want cookie. To, you want to warm this up while you're at it then, too? Are, are we sure this is a cookie and not a briquette? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty hard. I could beat somebody to death with this. I don't know if you want to warm it up, but maybe cut it and warm up some of it. So that we can get the rest of the kids. Okay. It smells like sugar cookie. It does. It is sugar cookie with sprinkles. And then, um... I hate serenity. You want me to get it open? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. At least, at least where the marshmallow is. Yeah, that seems at nice. Least the the s'mores fishy. thingy seems nice. Yeah, these sprinkles look artificial. I don't know if this is going to come out. Okay, yeah, well. Okay, there you go. Yeah, they come out of the... So am I just warming these two? Yeah, just warm those two, and then we'll do the brownies after. I don't want to warm them all up and then them get hard while they sit here. Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> That's I, re I remember in my bedroom when I had a, that little mini microwave. Whatever happened to it? I don't know. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Becca. A cheeseaholic. Oh, my gosh, Kyle's a cheeseaholic so bad. Like... I'm pretty, a cheeseaholic. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that um, Maddox, well, I, my stomach doesn't do very well with uh, dairy either, but it's not as extreme as like our son's and Kyle's, but <clears throat> Kyle doesn't care. He'll still eat cheese and dairy products. He's like, I know I'm going to feel it, but I don't care. It's so good. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I was awful, Lisa. And, like, no matter how awful I was, like, he never gave up. Like, he was always like, this isn't you. you. You deserve better than this. You can do better than this. And um, a lot of people gave him crap back then because they said that he enabled me. And in ways, he did enable me. But at the same time, he, again, was always super supportive and always had my back <clears throat> in every regard possible. And he you know, took on me with a child and, um, all my baggage. <laughs> Woo! That ring light just moved and it scared the crap out of me. What just happened? The ghost. I swear it's the ghost. Are you not happy that I'm filming? Um, but yeah. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Haley. It's so good, isn't it? Duncan's avocado toast with bacon, A1. Even without the bacon, it's so good. Kyle, the other day, he surprised me with, um, he showed up at my work randomly with avocado toast and um, my favorite coffee from Duncan's. The coconut, the coconut milk refreshers, Haley, are so good, too. I love them. By the way, how are you, Haley? <clears throat> It really is, Lisa. Like, I did some crazy stuff um, while I was sick. Like, that I'm just like, how and why did I do that? Well, I'm glad to hear that, Jason. <laughs> I like that warm part with the whole cob thing. Um, do I have any videos about my addiction? Kind of. If you go onto my channel, I have a playlist called Talking with Tara. And I open up in those videos about my addiction. Now, I'll be honest, when I filmed those videos, I wasn't, I filmed them because I wasn't in a good headspace and I needed to vent about it. But I do and have always on my channel been very open about that. And I always planned on doing a podcast. I have a whole channel called Talking with Tara where I want to talk. Talking with Tara. <laughs> <laughs> I want to open up more about it. I just don't have the time right now to focus on that podcast. I feel like that's going to be something I'm going to do once I'm able to quit my real job. Oh, that smells good now that's warmed up. He is. Well, we're not married, but basically we are. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. If you're so, from Wisconsin. What, eight years? Yeah, almost eight years we've been yeah. together. So technically, where we live, we would be considered married. Common law, yeah. Whatever. Can't yeah, if you're from Wisconsin, then you definitely have to um, love cheese, I feel like. Like, how can you not love, love cheese if you're from Wisconsin? Mm -hmm. Wisconsin. I always have to say it like that. 
It's so hard, right? I like conquered. I'm sorry you have IBS, though. That stinks. Cack. (laughs) Ah. Tomato allergy? I freaking love tomatoes, even though they're so bad for me. Like, for inflammation and and GI health. And if you have gout. Yeah. (laughs) Don't feel bad. I don't really care. Yeah, I like it better when the bacon's crushed up on it, too. He is really sweet. He has his moments, though. Don't let him fool you. He has no filter, so sometimes I have to be like, Kyle? (laughs) I'm honest. She doesn't like that. Well, between the ADHD (laughs) and the spectrum stuff, sometimes he can be, like, super brutal, honest. And again, I have to be like, Kyle, I feel like you're not in the frame. You're just playing with the dogs. What? Your breast stinks. I need to brush your teeth again. <laughs> we got to brush your teeth again, Vin Man. Yeah, you're not coming up here. We got food. Oh, well, no problem. Actually, speaking of that, are we going to, when are we going to put that bed appointment in for his teeth? I thought we already did that. I thought his teeth are, his blood work came fine. Yeah, I know, but he still had to have his teeth cleaned. Oh, his teeth need clean. Oh, they, yeah, we can do that. They're going to have to be pulled because they're really bad. Well, then just like, make the appointment. Okay. And he needs, Winter needs to go to the groomers again, too. Because his coat's getting too no, long. No way. For the summer. You're going to go see my boss. Yeah. By the way, if you ever get a long haired dog, you need to keep in mind that you have to have them groomed. <laughs> Because we never thought of that when we uh, rescued, adopted Winter. Don't lick me. And, I mean, we get him groomed, but Don't do it. luckily we have an amazing groomer, Don't and she's pretty affordable. And he always is so proud when he comes back from the groomer. I love tomatoes. Same. Oh, my gosh. That's so sad. I'm sorry, Lissa. I'll stick with salsa. Yeah, we... We do a, a lot of our gardening that we do. Um, we do so many tomatoes because we do meat sauce. We can meat sauce, tomatoes, a uh, tomato uh, soup. We do. No, we do tomato sauce, not meat sauce. Well, that's what I meant. Tomato no. sauce, tomato sauce. I'm not ready for meat sauce. Um, tomato soup, and then we do so much salsa. So we can so much salsa. So we do like green peppers and that kind of jazz. And we're growing potatoes this year. You will, Jason. I promise. You know what? Um, I always tell people this when they say that they're, like, having a hard time finding a partner who is, like, not toxic. Go outside your type, right? Because Kyle was not my type. And, like, my intentions when I first started having interest in him were not pure. Um, And I obviously fell in love with him. Like, I can tell you the moment I fell in love with him. And now that we've been together so long, I fall more in love with him like as the years go on and for I was always that person that hopped in from long-term relationship to long-term relationship and never really had time in between um relationships like at all like even Malin's father left and then like what not even a month later I started dating Kyle like I was very fast because I didn't want to be alone and I was so used to toxic relationships right but Kyle wasn't my type at all Not even a little bit. So I always tell people when they are, again, looking for love, one, work on yourself and be happy with yourself fully. And two, go for someone who's not your type because you'd be surprised how much that, how much you going for someone who is your type is probably just continuing that toxic pattern. Mmm, salsa is so good. And Kyle makes really good salsa. I don't know much about auras, to be honest with you, like aura colors and everything like that. I'm not going to even try to sit here and ask or tell you like um, much about auras, but I know there's tons of really great information, Haley, online about auras. Are we talking about element aura? Like your aura, babe. Oh, like apparent, your aura. apparently yours is fire, guys. <laughs> Mine's fire? <laughs> oh, he's talking about my fire incidences. I blame the ghosts. I know they're relatives, but jeez. Yeah, that one does not like me. <laughs> Literally, when you went downstairs, my ring light went for no reason. Yeah, it was probably Betty. I was like, what the heck? All right, so you want to try the cookie? The cookie, cookie, cookie. It's like falling apart now. Good night, Haley. Tell your mom I said hi. I just want to try the cookie part without the sprinkle. I mean, without the frosting first. 
the cookie is good. So their sugar cookie, this is their sugar cookie, but with the whatever this is in the middle. So their sugar cookies are really good. The stuff in the middle is really sweet. Do you try just the cookie? Mm hmm. What was that? It's from the sprinkles because oh. your mouth is all blue. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sugar cookie is really good. All cookie right. fine. Frosting's really sweet. The, it's the fr well, can we just take the frosting off? <laughs> yeah. Okay. A1 Chef Kiss on the cookie. Frosting was definitely made with uh, confectionery sugar. Mm. I don't like the frosting. <coughs> it's going to give my cavity a toothache. I love sugar cookies and snickerdoodle cookies, and these are really good sugar cookies. Yeah, the cookie part's good. Oh, cookie part is bomb. The frosting, I put way too much confectionery sugar in there. Mm-hmm. I like the cookie. All right, what are we going to do with this other piece, then? Just wrap it up? Sure. Okay. Save it for the kiddos. Do you just want to do this so that way what? we don't have to, uh... I'm just used to doing it this way. Okay. It does happen when you least expect it. Living in a historical house, the spirits are active. People who don't believe in ghost spirits get freaked out here. They definitely mess with you in interesting ways. So it's funny you say that, Lissa, because um, <clears throat> the tarot reader that I get readings from like one to two times a year, she's been doing this for many, many years. <laughs> the first time I ever had a reading from her, we did it on a Zoom call or like a FaceTime call. And she was like, I know this is for a tarot reading because she does Reiki and all this other stuff too. She works with spirits and she goes, I know this is a tarot call, but she goes, do you have any concerns with your house? <laughs> and she's like, I've only been on this call with you for like 30 seconds. And um, I can tell you, you definitely have activity in your house. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So she went over a bunch of different like protection spells that I could do in rituals, which I do have things buried around the house and things, but I'm, I'm not going to get into what I use or how I do it. Um, you can look up ways that you can do it for yourself just for my own protection, obviously. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely, I've had a few fires start here from trying to do rituals. But specifically, they were contained. Yeah, specifically manifestation rituals. But yeah, the one in the bathroom that happened was very bizarre. So I was um, taking a bath, doing I was doing a, a manifestation ritual with, in a bath as well. So I had my manifestation candles going. I had already said my spell and was doing my thing. Chicken wing was in my bath, meditating, and my candle was like full. I had just lit it. The bath was, you know, doing its thing, chicken wing. And um, I went to go lean up to turn the water to get it, you know, to make it a little bit hotter. And before I could even lean back down, y'all, whoosh, like the whole freaking thing blew. And I had it in a tin because that's how you're supposed to, I had salt around it, all that jazz. And it went from a full candle down to nothing, whoosh, like right before my eyes. And I, for some reason, was like nervous, like scared, but calm at the same time. So I took water and tried to put it out. And then I was like, and then it made it worse because essential oils. And I was like, okay. And then I went and got Kyle who was sleeping. And I'm like, Kyle, there's a fire. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. When you get woken up to somebody saying, hey, babe, <laughs> I can't put out the candle. What what do you mean you can't put out a candle? <laughs> so as I say, oh, okay, I get up and start walking to the bathroom. I see an orange glow coming from the bathroom. It was I, weird because it I was contained. It didn't front, spread. Yeah, I get in front of the door and I see this just fire. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh okay, all right. So I was like, all right, I got to put this out. 
So I grabbed the, um, the baking soda, baking soda mm -hmm. and I put it out because I didn't want to use a fire extinguisher. Or was it baking powder? I think it was baking powder. No, it was, no, it was baking, baking soda. soda. And I put it out, and I was like, okay, yeah, then no more uh, candles for you. I told my older sister this story, and she's a Reiki, um, a Reiki master. <laughs> Reiki master? I don't know. She does Reiki, and she's, you know, into all that stuff. She's taught me a lot of what I know. <laughs> and uh, she was like, Tara, what the hell are you trying to manifest? <laughs> I was like, uh, nothing that crazy. And she's like, that's intense. And I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure it's freaking spirits. Like, And if you look at where... Like he said, it was contained. So where where it was was like right in the corner. It was right near the wall. Never hit the wall. Never hit the shower curtain. Nothing. And then when we got the tin outside, um, if you look on the floor, like the imprint that was left, it's crazy. Like really crazy. So I sent it to the tarot reader, which is also the person who I got the candles from and mm -hmm. who I get a lot of my ritual stuff from. And she was like, that's intense Tara she's like there's definitely somebody watching you and does not like what you're doing and I'm like yeah I know <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know who it is and I'm pretty sure it's Betty yeah probably Betty was one of our relatives that was really um she she I've seen a man multiple well, times in here too so that would be Bert mm -hmm. uh, that would be Betty's husband um Betty is a type of person that would make her opinions very obvious um before i started dating tara i was with a girl and her, don't say her name though the her, girl's name oh, okay. her and her mother uh moved into the house with us and um said uh betty did not like said uh mother and uh yeah. tried to strangle her yeah it was um, pretty bad yeah so yeah, she's she's not very nice. And the first year that we lived in this house, I had a really hard time. Like I was constantly sick. I had no motivation. I felt so drained of my energy. Like it was really, 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 really bad. And I contribute a lot of it to that. A lot, a lot of it to that. Uh, now Bert doesn't like things being changed in the house. Yeah, that's another thing. You know, have you ever seen that um, Stephen King movie or read the book? What is it called? with the house rose red is that what it's called i believe that's what it's called so it's kind of like that with this house like anytime changes are being made even if they're to upgrade the house in some way things start happening in this house fires miraculously no, start it's, happening it's not really weird stuff starts happening it's not really that it's more or less he gives his approval for it or he doesn't doesn't yeah a lot of them he you know doesn't care that it's done but he's letting you know. I know. <laughs> yeah, so it's he'll he'll he uh, he's done a uh, full body and a uh, full body, um, where you can see. If... I know. I've like I said, yep. I've seen him. I've seen him on the stairs more than one time. Like yep. more than one time, I've seen him on the stairs. He's probably the most gentle person you'll ever meet. The one that you have to watch out for is Betty. Yeah, she's rough. Yeah, she yeah. is a rough cookie. But no, the house was built back in the. Civil War Kyle grew era. up in this house. Kyle's very attached to this house. Sometimes they say too attached to this house. Still don't like the cellar though. The lights go off. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Well, nope, that cellar nope. is creepy. There's somebody else down there, and I don't know who it is. Oh, Jason asks, how does a spirit communicate with you? Um, they can communicate in many different ways. It's all just about being aware. But hopefully our little stories that we just told you kind of tell well, you. Uh, Bert likes to do full body <laughs> and, uh, impressions. We used to have a, a uh, uh, piano. That's no longer here because he liked to play uh, classical music. So we said no <laughs> very much at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. So that's gone. Uh, no more piano for that. No. Oh, no. It was, it was organ. 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 Yeah. yeah. No. No more for that. Betty's more the physical person. <laughs> no, she's not very nice. Again, she does not like me. <clears throat> well, no, it's not really. If she didn't like you, she would let you know. Well, she didn't like me at first, for sure. No, no, no. She, like I said, if she didn't like you, you would know immediately. Like I said, with the person's mother, they were only here for a day and then they were gone. <laughs> like well, I she said. likes to mess with me then. 
I'm an empath to the bone, so I can move and change energy, especially with music. I'm curious, though, giving getting advice from a spirit is not my strong suit. Well, um, in regards to spirit, like, you can also, like, learning to connect with your ancestors is very important. And you can, excuse me, you can use the internet and get free information on that. <clears throat> or you can read books about it. Um, but in my opinion, that's very, 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 very important. Thank you, Deep Soul. Thank you, Cotton Candy. Everyone's like, you guys are so cute. Yeah, I know, aren't we? No, the most kidding. coolest thing we found in the house when we had to tear down the ceiling because uh, somebody doesn't know how to uh, put a tarp over the roof correctly. Um, we accidentally found a newspaper. Oh, the newspaper from, stuff, yeah. Um, the beginning of the nuclear testing. That's crazy. And, I remember when you found yeah. that. That was the coolest thing I've ever found. Still have it. Need to get a frame for it. Here's oh, it. wow, Lisa, That is scary. What? She said, second night here scared me and my ex because she lives in an old house or lived in an old house. The woman definitely got our attention when a baby across the street stopped breathing in the middle of the night. There are so many things that happened that night. Yeah, that's that means somebody was not happy. The house Wait, I grew this up happened, in. This happened in the house or was it? I don't know. In the it says it's across the street. The house I grew up in had an entity. We had pennies fall from our living room ceiling, among other interesting occurrences, like a message on the bathroom mirror and lipstick that said, help me. That would freak me out. There are entities in my childhood home, mom's home. I saw them all the time. The land was stolen from the natives. Oh, so, yeah. There's a lot of homes that have been buried or built on, like, um old burial grounds um and taken land and and stuff like that where you hear some some stuff usually like anything that associated with help me usually has to do with the fact that there's a darker entity in the house and there's a another soul that's being pursued by said dark entity. oh that could be yeah i i interpret it sometimes too as like um Maybe needing help with crossing over because they're stuck and they don't want to be stuck anymore as well. No, it's usually like free me, not help me. Well, Kyle, you never know. Unless you like connect with them. There is a very angry male spirit that is extremely aggressive downstairs that was also abusive. Oh, so it's an apartment. That's what she's saying. Oh. oh um, that's even more. Yeah, that would scare me for sure, Alyssa. Oh, it's so weird to think how they, um, how, how violent it was. Like, I mean, we obviously saw violence today, but like, you know, back in the day with like the Western and then like you have slavery and you have, um, like what happened to Native Americans, you know, it's just so sad. You have to be lighthearted sometimes, right? <laughs> you named your entity Howard. <laughs> You want to try this? This is the, um, yep, Tara, this is it. <laughs> Snacko. S'mores. This one doesn't have, this isn't on the ingredients list either. But the little s'mores pies. They good? They look good. They smell good. Cookie's still dry. The cookie is dry. Marshmallow makes it a little bit better. It tastes good. It's just dry. Oh, it tastes familiar. Like I've tasted something similar to it. It kind of tastes like the s'mores macaroons that we That's get. That's right. Yep. Mm hmm. We love macaroon taste testing. But yeah, it's like that, but way drier mm -hmm. than the macaroons. What are you doing? Looking for crumbs? Crumbs. Dad dropped crumbs. Quick! That ring light's hot, huh? Yeah, no kidding. I want to hear cooking. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> I like it, though. It's still dry. It is, but it's better than the... um. What's it called? S'mores cake? It's not no, on there. No, vegan... What, what, what is We the... vegan eats. We vegan dry as desserts. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> 
They're a small company. Hey, um, I'm stating the facts. Some people like their stuff a little drier. Well, you can fix it by adding a little bit more water or um, by uh, reducing the cook time. Because that's what a lot of what happens is... <laughs> Deep um, soul. You're such an ass sometimes. Um, you have to... Um, Especially if you're These not... These stockings have me cooking. If, if you're not using egg or milk, which adds the moistness to it, you have to cook it less. Oh, yeah? Because you're cooking out the, mo the moisture. Do you bake, Kyle? No, but I don't know about food. You cook, though. Hey, all my food comes out moist. <laughs> you came out moist. Stop it. <laughs> Monday See, when I met her, she was like a rough steak that needs some loving. I fixed it. A rough steak? Now she's like a ribeye. <laughs> Can I be a filet mignon? Okay. Okay. I like filet mignon. I'm about to reapply my lipstick after this. Put some butter on top. By the way, isn't this red so pretty? I think it's gorgeous. It's, um... Wait, can you even make butter with them? Milk? Yeah, they make plant-based butter. Huh. So it's the Lime Crime Lip Velveteen Lip Liner in Cinnamon. And then I have Wait, the not butter. Bite Beauty Amuse Bouge Lipstick in Nori. So pretty. No, it's just um so plant-based butter. So they, that, call, um, they wouldn't call it butter, they'd call it vegan butter or whatever. No, the um Earth Balance stuff that oh. I used to get. <laughs> Okay. It's like a margarine, basically. <clears throat> he does have uh, snark, that's for sure, Lissa. The house I live in, I would be alone and I would be hearing human noises, for example, footsteps. But the one thing about it, there will be no one there to make them. But something, I don't know if it's just me or what. No, we have that too. Like, the night that um, my mother-in-law's husband came here for three hours talking about how bad of a mom I am, um, he kept trying to tell us that our kids were awake because he could hear footsteps and they were dead ass asleep. And he was trying to basically tell us that we were bad parents because our kids weren't listening to us and weren't going to sleep, but they were literally asleep. But what he didn't realize is that the freaking ghosts were probably messing with him or spirits or whatever. And they were making noises like footsteps so it was pretty funny like so we're like um they are asleep i was just i was like i was just upstairs because after i like threw my fit that i threw and got all emotional i had was upstairs and the kids were sleeping the entire time that's why i decided to go downstairs and like talk with him about it so speaking of that i didn't i didn't <clears> tell you this but uh there was a little somebody right behind me that during the whole conversation with him oh really mm-hmm hmm. It was Bert. Really? Oh, yeah, he was pissed. Was that I could, why? I could feel it. Oh, maybe that's why there was footsteps. It's probably like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, no, he was definitely very uh, not pleased with um, him. Oh, Lisa, that's so scary, though. It was kind of like a reassuring type thing. Well, and your mother watches, wonders why she hasn't watched the kids recently. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, we've, we, or not we, but I used to bake with, um, and make a lot of vegan stuff because, and gluten-free stuff because, um, the place that I was head chef at, they did a lot of, um, events and stuff and they would do events for like people that needed special foods. So like, vegan foods or like had special you know requests like vegan food I learned a lot about cooking for people that are vegan through that experience actually and gluten-free what's vegan cheese does that melt or no um there's one that I've seen is that like that cheese at IGA where you can like well a lot of people cook tofu anything? wrong a lot of people cook tofu wrong you're supposed to like squeeze it almost and like people will just cook it right out the package like that hmm. But, um, no, there's, uh, it starts with a D. I forget the name of it, but that's the best vegan cheese I found because I tried, like, all of them when I was doing those events. It's expensive, too. It doesn't taste the same, but, um, you know, 
I don't knock anyone who's vegan. I don't care. I think cheese would be the hardest one for me, though. Because I don't really eat a lot of meat. And um, I like eggs, but it's not like, you know. I don't care what anybody likes. If they like it, they like it. But just don't, don't force push it down you up, push it on you. Opinions. Yeah. We just try to eat as local as possible, like small farm, you know. You can jump up here. You've already gotten up here before. Oh. Oh, what? So they knew. So they knew the baby? Was they warning you about it? That's so weird. Oh, so the baby was choking in the spiritual mm -hmm. morning. That's, that's what I think she's trying to say. Oh. So this is the strawberry loaf. This looks really good. It looked really good on the website. <laughs> the frosting's not too crazy on it. it does look, look... Taste and smell are three different objects. I know. It does look kind of It may dry. look good, but... I feel like that's going to be hard with any, like, company that has a dessert bakery but, kind of thing is it not being dry right because you like you could put you could have put um put strawberries yeah in but you think they have to the moistness to you, it well yeah that's what i would have done like that's why i make a lot of my muffins with like mm -hmm. applesauce in it or like you know stuff to make them more moist well, but um, put applesauce in it they uh and they need more no i didn't say they did <laughs> So the strawberry loaf is on here. This is the mini strawberry bread, all-purpose flour, real strawberries, organic cane sugar. So there are strawberries in here, Kyle. Where? Um, organic cane sugar, unsweetened applesauce. Oh, there's applesauce in it too. There's there's baking strawberry. soda, pink um, Himalayan salt, vegan butter, pure vanilla. Yeah, there's definitely strawberry in here, but I don't see any in. I see it right there. I see it. Oh, they need more. I think that, and I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, but I think that it, it must be hard to have a dessert company or a bakery company trying to ship out and not only mass produce the items, but ship them out, right? And for them to maintain their full flavor, right? Yes, I, I love pink Himalayan salt. Get my get my mouth all moist. But I'm tr again, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. You don't like it? I feel really bad. I, I thought these were going to be like, I thought we were going to get on here and be like, yeah, because we do a lot of taste testing for things in general, snacks, um, macaroons. You really don't like that, do you? Oh, what the hell is that taste? Oh, no. I really wanted to like love all this stuff. The upside down, pi upside down pineapple cake, the cookies, A1, love the cookies, oh, the that's s'mores. That kind of tasted like bread that's gone bad. It better not have gone bad. I just it just came in today. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. You it taste does. that? You taste that? Ugh. Ugh. I feel so bad. I like almost wouldn't have done it this. It tastes like also like fermented fruit. Yeah, it does not taste good. It's like I got two of these. Ugh. Okay, it's a no go. <laughs> That was so bad. And you guys know, like, I love supporting <laughs> small businesses. And I love finding small bakeries. <sighs> what would it cost? And that? I've seen maybe, these. Maybe bad flowers? I've seen these advertised. This company ag advertised everywhere on Facebook and um, Instagram. And I've seen people rave about their stuff. But I see a lot of people who rave about their stuff rave about the cookies. Where is this on here? It's down here, babe. Oh. The, it's the last one, the mini, mini loaf. And we already know these are dry. Oh, it could, it could be the applesauce could be bad, because that's what it, that a alcohol taste reminds me of, is bad applesauce. Man, this sucks. I wanted to love this. Ugh. Ugh. It's in my mouth. It's making me all nauseous. I don't even want to eat the brownies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not good. But this is our opinion. Um, try it for yourself. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I'm wondering too, Lissa. Lissa said, I wonder if they bake, freeze, then ship. Everything was not frozen when we got it. And it said to it's best to eat it by the 28th. So I'm, ass I'm assuming that they bake it oh, and ship yeah, it. Oh, yeah, if they freeze it and we get yeah. like, the last batch of however long. Yeah, then the that would definitely went. that would definitely make sense. Yeah. Um, Where do they ship from? I don't know. Let but me see your phone. I can find uh, out right now. That's unacceptable. <clears throat> Here, I'll just open a new tab. I don't want to close out any of your stuff. <laughs> what, my massive amounts of tabs? You always have tons of tabs open. Uh. So they're shipped. They're from Tampa, Florida, which is another reason. That's right. That's another reason why I wanted to order from them because they're from, like, my area of Florida. So, well, general area of Florida. So I was like, yeah, I definitely want to <sighs> support them. So hold on. Yeah, my stomach's all upset now. Let me see if they have, like, a frequently asked questions thing about, like... Do you give your people food poisoning? Shipping policy. Yeah, you can smell I it. I know. It smells like... I, I do smell it. They don't have a frequently asked questions thing. Do I, do I smell a lawsuit? Just kidding. Just no, kidding. we're kidding. <laughs> I've seen them advertised everywhere. That's what got me is because I kept seeing them advertised. <clears throat> oh, can't get the well, they do have a refund policy that if you're un unhappy with your order in any way, but I don't even want to do that. I feel bad like asking small businesses for refunds. I just won't order, order again. Well, I, I would also tell them why. Well, yeah. I'm going to send them an email with, like, my opinions on it, but I'm not going to ask for a refund. <clears throat> and, like, the About Us section got me, too, when I was checking out their page before I ordered. Because it's all, like, her basically saying she quit her year, job of 20 years to become and be, to follow her dreams and do this for a living. So, like, I feel really bad. Like I said, I wouldn't have done this if I had thought that it was going to be bad. Congratulations, the dogs won't eat it either. The, dog, the dogs won't eat it? <laughs> That's pretty bad. Okay, so it says all of our products are baked and shipped the same day to ensure that they will always arrive fresh and delicious at your doorstep. So, that according to the, true. according to their site, it says that, it says, welcome to We Vegan Eats. We are 100% vegan bakery based out of Tampa, Florida. Our cookies, brownies, and breads are all made with the finest ingredients and are always dairy, egg, and soy free. All of our products are baked and shipped the same day to ensure they will always arrive fresh, delicious at your doorstep. So No, that one that's not true because this it wouldn't have happened if if that was Well, done that way. usually like when I make my breads and muffins, I use things like Parts of the, the fruit that I'm using, when, and I grind them when up you ordered and make it, them into a sauce, applesauce. Um, how long did it take to get here? Oh, no, I'd have to check my email. I didn't order it that long ago. It hasn't been that long. Like three days? No, it probably took three days to get here. I probably ordered it and everything by the time it took here. It's probably been like five to six business days. Which is about normal for bakery stuff. But, like, when I order from Dana's um, Bakery, the one that I get my macaroons, our mm -hmm. favorite macaroons that we get. Because we've tried so many macaroon companies. <laughs> and we have our favorite macaroon company, which is Dana's Bakery out of New York. Those are those are baked and frozen. And then they're, they put a freezer pack in the thing. Right. They bake. They freeze them. And they bake them all in-house. <laughs> and then they put, a, like he said, they put... Um, Dry ice. Dry ice in there, and then you get them, and then you can either freeze them right away, and she makes cookies. Um, she makes vegan cookies, um, and then she also makes um, gluten-free. She has some gluten-free macaroons. That's our Oh, also, hands by the way, down, hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, not, sp <laughs> not sponsored, <laughs> but hands down, our favorite macaroons are Dana, D-A-N-A's Bakery. She makes amazing macaroons, but... They're really good. It can take a while to get the macaroons from her, but... It's worth it, though. It is worth it because they're so good, and I follow her on Instagram, too, so it makes it more personal, but um, out of all the macaroons, if you like macaroons, A1. And her cookies are really good. Her mookies, 
We've had hit and misses on the Mookies, yeah. the one that are in their, the freezer. Um, she makes these cookies that have a macaroon in the middle, and some of them are good. Some of them we don't like. Um, but other than that, her macaroons are amazing. The cookies are really amazing. Yeah. Like, her regular cookies yeah. are really good. Like, rub, the red velvet cookies and everything. Oh, my gosh, Carrie George. I'm so sorry. Why are people so obsessed with stealing radio? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Deep Soul. Like I said, the pineapple upside down cake was really good. Could and be, the, could be worse. I could have took your Cadillac converter. The um the s'mores pies were good, but those are limited edition items. I would feel like like this is um something that they always carry. I would feel like this would be bomb, right? If they always carry it. And I feel like the brownies would be way better. Like, I, we're not even going to open these because the kids will eat them. Even the kids, you guys, even the kids, when we had them try it, they my, were like, oh, my, my God, these are like, so I'm dry. I'm allergic to chocolate Yeah, now. he literally, Maddox was like, uh, I'm allergic to chocolate now because <laughs> he didn't like them. Yeah, I prefer you not sticking your tongue in my mouth. You've never had a macaroon, Marcy? By the way, hi, Marcy. How are you, They're sweetheart? The best. They are so good, Marcy. You're missing out on the macaroon goodness. It's also like we get hot, so it can make sense. The ones with fruit, like applesauce, would go bad. Yeah, that's that's true too. But they would they ship through. Um, was it FedEx or UPS? Uh, UPS. UPS. So it was delivered to our doorstep, but it's still, you know, they do sit in a truck and everything. So that does make sense. And that's the thing too, like how Dana actually anywhere we've gotten macaroons before, haven't they come with um dry ice yeah i'm pretty this sure stuff everywhere we've should have been shipped with that's how ice. i feel too maybe that's like some kind of advice i could give them is maybe um start shipping with dry ice because dry, i would dry ice isn't cheap though well i was gonna say i be i pay for the dana never has free shipping with her stuff and i always pay is this free shipping yeah i always pay for um shipping with dana because i would rather pay the extra shipping to have good product right so <laughs> i would pay for extra shipping for these to arrive good that's just how i feel about it anywhere i've actually come to think of it anywhere where i've ever ordered bakery type stuff they've come with dry ice yeah the heat in florida that does make sense and it's even been hot up this way too we might need Tums later. Oh, and it stinks I too because feel like I'm gonna need my Tums. stomach has hurt so bad today because yesterday I went to the Chinese buffet with my brother and my friend before I went to take my driving test because my brother had to drive me to my friend's work to pick up my friend's car to go take my driving test. So he was like, let's go to the buffet for lunch. And I'm not a big fan of that Chinese buffet, but I was like, okay, I'll have a plate, I guess. So my stomach hurt all day today. And... Oh, my favorite thing at now this at Chinese buffet is the, those little donut holes yeah but they didn't out. have they don't this chinese buffet is not good yeah. i don't know why he loves it so much and he's like me he only eats mike he only eats one plate that's how i am at a buffet oh man it's like a I'm waste for me to go to buffet. it's a waste for me to go to a buffet i make it worth it do you believe i've been kicked out of buffet before yeah, that's what's weird is that the pineapple upside down cake is moist. It tastes really good. The upside down pineapple cake was the best thing, don't yeah, you it think? It just had that aftertaste. Yeah, like. but that's normal with upside down pi pineapple cake. It can have that aftertaste. So you would think if the other things went bad, wouldn't that have gone bad too? Yeah. So it's very confusing. Yeah, they would have went bad at the same time. If they are both made From at the, the same time. From the heat and everything? Time, well, I'm t they're t we're talking about the heat. The pineapple cake probably would have went bad first. That's what I would think, too. Um, right? Because that would have probably also been made with applesauce. Well, I make mine with lemon juice. I'm not lemon well, juice. Pineapple uh, juice. Yeah, you still need a base, though. You don't have egg or anything in there anymore. Oh, that's true. So you need a, you need a binder. You can't just use flour. That is true. I don't know. It's very weird. Like I said, I'm not going to ask for a refund, but I'm definitely going to ask them or give them advice about maybe how they could up their game because we'll it really is sad. We'll see how well they, all ex well they all accept that. Well, if I was a small business, I would want people to give me positive, not positive, constructive feedback, right? 
Yeah, but some people aren't like that. Well, I think it was six days from the time I ordered. <clears throat> so I think processing and everything was two days. And then I think it took about three days to get to me. I would have to double check my email, but I'm pretty sure it was like three, three business days. I think I got it on the third business day. Yeah, that's true, Lisa. Just regular ice for two day shipping. I'm glad that you're doing well, um, Marcy. I still need to go look at what you were messaging me on Twitter about today. Oh, I wish I had some ginger. Yeah, I actually kind of... Where did that come from? Somebody said that. Oh, ginger? We have ginger. Do we? Yeah, I bought fresh ginger. Where is it? Um, It should be in the produce drawer, which me. reminds me, Starting we need to go grocery shopping. No, I'm not. That's what my AdSense money and AdSense money is. Every month is our grocery money. It's not AdSense anymore. It's grocery money. Well, uh, the reason why my AdSense, because I really didn't put out much content last month or the month before last. Well, yeah, last month. The reason why it was so high, which I mean, it's high, I say high, but um, the reason why I even had AdSense really this month was because of getting tips from tarot readings. So, and I wanted to make sure I was able to give Deep Soul some of it. Cause she helped me. Sorry guys, I have to reapply this, it's irking me. What are you doing, Ben? <laughs> Oh, does that feel good? Oh. oh, yes, yes. Don't forget, you guys have a dentist appointment at the end of the month, too. Ugh. Wow. Oh, wait. They Did I request that off? They didn't. They couldn't even pull on my wisdom, too, so why should I go back? Well, you have a dentist appointment. The kids do, too, and I took work off, so your mom doesn't take you take them, so she can't use that against us. Oh, I took them to a dentist appointment. God forbid. Did you even though you always go with them, too, but... I want to start making sure I'm there for everything. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, Lissa. Thank you. All right. That's what I said too, Marcy. Constructive feedback is good. It's the shade Cinnamon Lip <coughs> Liner from wow. Lime Crime. Now I'm gonna go brush my teeth with baking soda. You want to take? You want to put these in? The, I'll put these in the box, and you want to bring put them that downstairs. In the box. Throw that in the compost. Okay, well, you can throw it in the compost, <laughs> but. You want to take this box and everything too, babe? What? What is it, guys? You want to say bye to everybody? Bye. <laughs> Let me see that. Are you just going to throw it away? No, I'm just going to throw it away. Oh. Wait, is the other one like that? Let me see I the other know. one. I don't know. You want to open the other one and see? Yeah. This one seems softer. Because we have another strawberry loaf. I'm scared. My stomach's already doing freaking flips. Oh, no problem, Deep Soul. I appreciate you helping. Mm. You're getting crummies on my makeup wipe. Mm. I can smell it right away. I know. That's hard with strawberry and apples, you know? It smells a little bit better than this one. <laughs> We're over here smelling bread. I also don't want food poisoning. Kyle, you're getting crummies everywhere. Nope. Nope. It's a no. No. Nope. If you spit it out, I know it's bad. All right. That one's worse than the other one. Compost it is. Compost it is. <laughs> Take it back and wash my mouth out of bleach. Don't forget to put the chair back, too. Don't forget to come back and get the box. I'm so demanding. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. You should make it a song at this point. Taurus. I have very un. <laughs> I have very uneven lips, so that's why lip liners are like my best friend. I never saw that actually, Lisa. Oh, yeah, our dogs are bad when it comes to food, especially the Pomeranian. Good boy, thank you. Good listen. I'm going to get a treat. 
These dogs have so many treats. Treats. Kyle's mom came over and like stole a whole bag of dog treats and started feeding her dogs all the treats. I'm covered in dog hair now. All right, I'm gonna put this in my paper trash. Well, guys, it's so sad, right? I wanted to love their stuff. Like, so bad I wanted to. It's so depressing. <laughs> Do you think it's rude of me to message them and, like, tell them, like, about it? Because I'm pretty sure that bread was bad. Like, almost positive. The pineapple upside down cake is so good. The kids will probably still eat the brownies, even though, like I said, they had some earlier. And, well, good night, Shelly. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Shelly. But, I don't know. What would you guys do? <laughs> Again, I don't want a refund. I just want to tell them, like, hey, this stuff is a little rough. Wasn't good. <laughs> Most of it. I have to, you know, I don't watch TV, so, and, like, all the movies that I used to watch um, were, like, from a long time ago, and I didn't watch a lot of, like, I watched more, like, horror movie type stuff, and, like, stuff that other people were watching. Why do I keep pulling this card? I've used this deck and drawn cards from this deck about three times, I think, and every single time I've drawn this card. Every single time. The leech card. And then I also got a freshwater turtle, patience, this time, and perspective. I keep getting that leech card. <laughs> what is draining my energy? What is sucking my energy? I mean, I have an idea, but... What does that smell? I don't know. I smell pee. I know. I, I smell it bad. Hold on, you guys. Oh, yeah. Wow. I smell it bad. I just flushed it earlier. What, did you go to the bathroom? You don't smell that? Come up here. I didn't smell it earlier, now I smell it. Do we have to drain the septic tank again? No. You don't smell that? Uh. What, what's funny? Why'd you laugh? You think that's flushing of the toilet would tell you. I just flushed it. I did. I flushed it earlier today when I did the cat box. Are you going to sleep downstairs so I can film? Well, don't I usually? Okay. I can't I'll go where I belong. Where you belong? Do you want me to wake you up when I'm done filming? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, Lissa. That's how I feel too, Deep Soul. And like I said, um, I've seen a lot of people rave about her stuff. So I'm assuming that this might just be like a, a one-time thing. But again, most of the good reviews I've seen from people are about the cookies. So I just don't want, I don't want it to come off like rude. Because again, I wouldn't, we would not have done this if we thought that, th that it was going to be bad. We genuinely thought it was going to be good. Because now I feel bad that I made a whole live. And Kyle can be really uh, brutal sometimes when it comes to food. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> so, patience. Slow down, discipline, practice, waiting. I practice patience when it is required of me. 
And then the leech, I already know because I've pulled it every single time, but it's exhaustion, discomfort, problematic situations, refuel, self-care. I understand that there are situations that will drain my energy. I take precautions beforehand to protect myself and give my mind and body what it needs to refuel. And then flying fox perspective. What is going on? <laughs> View, opinion, empathy, clarity. I understand that my viewing of a situation from a different perspective can shed light and help gain clarity. Empathy is a wonderful tool. Y'all. <laughs> oh, man. I think I need to pull some cards for myself, too, tonight. Like, tarot cards, because... It's been rough. I feel like I've been handling everything pretty good, but like, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not so much. Right, Lissa? That leech card every single time. <laughs> every single time. Uh, but I feel the same way. Like, I feel like it's very important to, when it comes to business, to, um, to get vital information back about, or information from, like, feedback from people who buy your stuff. Hold on, I'm going to grab something real quick. Put this back. Kyle, the collars for the dogs are still up here in the box. Don't forget. What? Okay, thank you. <sighs> what are you guys planning on doing tomorrow? Anything fun? Anything foam planned for tomorrow? We're going to try to go to the beach tomorrow. We were going to go today, but it was so cloudy and cold. <laughs> I say cold, but it was like 65. That's cold to me. And I have to edit tomorrow. Fun, fun. But other than that, Kyle has to work tomorrow, but... I need to go to my P.O. box tomorrow, too. Something else I need to do. Am I the only one who likes to, like, have fall and winter scents, <laughs> like, in my room as far as, like, wax melts and stuff in the summertime? Of course the train's going to go by now. Little bugger. I just want to pull some cards really quickly for myself. I feel like I might as well while I'm sitting here. What do I need to see right now? Temperous, okay. My favorite card. sucks I've done that before where you mess up the day well hello come back come back come back okay guess I had a bunch of cards <sighs> all right let's see four of swords we got the Ten of Swords. We got the Nine of Pentacles. We got the High Priestess. And we got the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> what in the what? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to contact them. Oh, that stinks so bad, Lissa. 
So just in case, I'm just reading cards. Deep Soul, if you're here, I would love to hear your interpretation too, if you don't mind. But Temperus. The Four of Swords. We've got the Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. High Priestess. And the Ten of Pentacles. What's up, Buttercup? What are you doing, my little man? Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you can jump up here. There's no more food up here, dude. What in the world is going on with my brain? My life. See, there's been a decision on my mind lately. And I haven't known what decision to make. And I don't know if this was very helpful. <laughs> Like, at all. Not at all. So, like, how I'm basically interpreting this is, like, how I'm interpreting it as, like, things are going well, financial, health, career, things of that nature, um, but internally, um, thoughts may not be as great, um, and having an internal battle, which is something I've been having, especially with this decision that I've been trying to make on a subject, a thing, and that I'm aware of this situation um, and these thoughts and things, but I don't know. I don't know. This did not help me very much at all. <laughs> not in the slightest. <laughs> By the way, I will be doing readings um, next week, I think, is when it's going to be, when I'm going to do it. I'm just too busy this week to do it, but I will be doing it this next week. Yeah, it is, it's called the Queen Alice deck. This is the, the deck that I own that I always use. It's my deck. I never use it for other people. I only use it for myself. It's by Dame Darcy, the one I always rave, rave about, Azriel. No, it's bubbly. My favorite sparkling water. If you love sparkling water, this is the grapefruit one. <clears throat> I love sparkling water, and these are my favorite. <laughs> I'm so glad that I um, tried them out one time. I saw them at the dollar store. It was actually the grapefruit flavor, and I was like, oh, those look good. I like sparkling water, and um, I'm so glad I did because I love them. So I order them on Amazon, and I try them all the time, like different flavors. They have so many flavors, <clears throat> but it's really hard for me to find any flavors but the grapefruit flavor, 
in my area. So it's something that I do order on Amazon. All right, what does it look like if I green light this situation? Maybe this is the better way to ask. Two of Wands, okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, this is not helpful. Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, I shall show you guys the cards because I know you guys like to see these cards, even though they're for my the readings for myself. Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So that's if I say yes to the situation. This does not seem <laughs> like a good outcome, does it to you? Because it doesn't to me. <laughs> If I say yes to the situation. Now let's see what it looks like if I say no to the situation and decide no. Vincent, you know, you make this very uncomfortable for me when you sit behind me, my boy. When you sit behind me. Is that the only one that fell? So we got justice. Okay. I love sparkling water. It's so freaking yummy. Trying to start journaling my... Where is my pen though? Okay, I guess I'm not journaling this. I stopped journaling my readings for myself and I was going to start journaling them again. But I guess I can't find my pen right now. So for saying no to the situation, so far I got the justice card, which to me is saying like, probably not, probably a good thing to say no, especially when you look at the two of wands, nine of swords, and the five of swords, if I go green light, which I mean, I should be going with my gut instinct anyways, which I know what my gut instinct says, but... King of Swords. Well, I guess that's my answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boozy is good. Have you tried the Crocs? I have not tried the Crocs. I've heard really good things about it. Yeah, this doesn't taste like sugar at all either. Like, there's no sugar in this at all. Wait, is this sparkling water or seltzer water? No, it's sparkling water. I like seltzer water too. And I like mineral water. I like water in like every, <laughs> every way. Oh, it's so bad, Lissa. Like, I'm sure you guys already know what it's about. It's that darn Miss Ashy Cat situation, you guys. Like, I don't know. I'm still letting it basically consume me because I'm so torn at what to do. 
because I know it's going to upset people if I don't do what I promised I would do. But at the end of the day, I, I don't know. It's so hard. And I've already filmed and scripted. I've already filmed one episode. I've already scripted pretty much the entire series. But something doesn't sit right with me. Like at all. And I just don't know. Other than that. But yeah, if you like Alice in Wonderland and you like tarot, this deck is beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. And it doesn't get to be shown enough on my channel because I only use it on myself. So... You guys don't see it like you do the other decks. But it really is very beautiful. Oops. Yeah, that's the right way. Very beautiful deck. Very, very, very beautiful deck. I just don't know. Yeah, that's how I am, Deep Soul. I don't want the sugar because sugar is so bad for inflammation. No, I haven't. I know Bubbly has um, energy ones now too. Um, this doesn't have sodium in it either. It literally has zero anything. <laughs> it's just water flavor and, um, bubbles. <laughs> it is a tough decision, Deep Soul. I don't know what to do, to be honest. And we also have tried the sparkling water. The, is it Spalding? They have an energy one. Yeah, I have seen those. I've never tried them though. I drink a lot of like water, water, like regular, just straight old water. But when I'm at home, especially now that we don't have like water, like we have a, um, Yep, that's it. What's it called? A water. You find them in offices a lot with the big old water jugs. What is it called? <laughs> yep, I can't think of what it's called right now. But we have one of those, which is what we use for drinking water. But I just like to use or drink the bubbly. The bubbly bubbly. No, not water bubbler. Um... I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, I know. Like, I already know the answer. It's just like, am I ready for the repercussions? <laughs> I think that's the whole thing. I don't know if I am. Filtered water, no. Water <laughs> comes with the big, they're blue. And they're, they're, you can trade them in or fill them at the store, get new ones, you can have them delivered. And then they have a hot and cold button and it filters down and comes out. It's called something, not water cooler. Is that, is that what it's called? Maybe water cooler. I can't remember right now for some reason. My brain is literally drawing a blank. You know what I mean? Okay, Deep Soul, you know what I'm talking about. I can't think of what they're called right now. Kyle's dad gave it to us a few years ago because he wasn't using it. And one of the best things <laughs> that we could have ever got. I mean, we didn't know we weren't going to have water in like two years after that. But 
um, it's been great because we don't have to buy a ton of bottled water. <clears throat> yeah, it's like those big blue water containers. Oh, it's, oh, it's going to drive me crazy now. Water. Nope, drawn a blank. <laughs> water cooler, is that it? I don't think that that's what it's called though. Maybe that is what it's called. That's what my brain keeps wanting to say is water cooler. Like I said, you see them in offices. You have to like pick them up and dump them really fast, which always scared me when I used to work at a McDonald's that had one. I would always make somebody else change it because I was scared I was going to wear water everywhere. <laughs> I think it is called water cooler. Maybe it is called water cooler. They usually have little cups to the, on the side of them that you can like take and then like, you see them in doctor's offices and stuff. Water jug, that's it, yes. But the whole thing is called something. Is it called water cooler? I think that's what it's called. But they have a hot and cold button. Our hot button sensor doesn't work anymore because it's super old, but it still works for the cold water. Yeah, it's nice if you can change the um, the flavors of your water. I drink Gatorade. So I used to drink Gatorade like I drink water now, and which is a lot. And then I stopped because when I went to the dentist to start fixing my teeth, they told me how much sugar was in Gatorade. And I was like, I did not know that. But I do drink Gatorade now when I in the summertime because of the electrolytes and because I get migraines. And when I get a migraine... I drink Gatorade. Like, I have Gatorade right here. Because these help with migraines so freaking much. I don't know what the heck is in it. But it helps me so much with my migraines. And, I mean, these really aren't the best for you. But they're not the worst for you. Like, there's, what, 20, 40 grams of sugar in this? That's a lot. <laughs> and there's a lot of, um... Yes, they go in a water cooler. Okay, so water cooler. <laughs> okay, so water cooler, that's what it is. Okay, I was right. I don't know why that sounded like the wrong answer to me. Like, my brain kept saying water cooler, but I'm like, no, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> I don't freaking know, man. Kyle! Kyle didn't come get the box of goodies. Kyle! You didn't come get the box! Sounds like you're stalling. Wonder where our children get it from. Yeah, I don't drink soda either, Lissa. Um, I, except for like the last few days that it's been hot. I mean, I didn't drink at work. I had soda like three days in a row, like a can of soda three days in a row because I don't know, something about a nice cold soda, super cold soda on a hot day. <sighs> Yeah, I probably should do Pedialyte. I actually have Pedialyte, and I never drink it. Someone gave it to us, like, forever ago. And I should probably look and see if it's expired, actually. But Pedialyte probably is a better a better uh, thing. Hi, Sauce Boss. How are you, sweet pea? I'm probably going to be getting off here soon. I'm sorry. Because I still need to film. These cars are just so cute. But I've never tried Pedialyte for migraines. I don't know why I never thought about that. Look at how cute these cars are. Oh my gosh, I haven't watched Bad Girls Club in so many years. Like years. Like since I was a teenager. This ring light's getting hot. I think it's because I have these stockings on. They just feel hot on my legs and my feet. Woo, buddy. Woo, buddy. Woo, buddy. Oop, dropping everything today. Mm. 
Bottom, bottom. The roses are red. Mm. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, I never even heard of electrolyte imbalance. I've never heard of that. Yeah, I had no idea that that was even a thing. Did not know you could even do that. But wedgie. <clears throat> Vincent, what are you doing, my man? <sighs> yeah, I didn't know that. That's a thing. Where's my other shoe? You're really growling at daddy coming up the stairs. Oh, enough. No. No. Your tail's wagging, but you're growling. No. No. Vincent, no. Well, I was going to put his collar back on him, but... Sit down. No. He's only, he's like that with everybody but me. They're like, why are chihuahuas so spicy? <laughs> I was going to put his collar back on him. But... Because Tara won't help me train him. Vincent, no, you're going to be put down. Ow, go, go, go. growls while he's he's so overprotective i don't know what to do about it either because he's older and he was abused so bad vincent no he was abused really bad before we got him by the father figure in the home and he's very overprotective of me see now he's fine but he loves kyle he'll like lick kyle's face and He'll love up on Kyle, but, like, if he hears, like, stomping up the stairs or if Kyle walks up to him, even if it's not being mean, he just, this is what he does. Enough, then. Vincent, it's just winter. Those footsteps and his, his, his tag, his tail is wagging right now. Like, his hair's not on the back of his head or anything. Come get the box. Oh, you got the box. Oh, you want to treat? Good boy, Winnie. Are you going to stop growling? Sit. Sit. Sit, Vin. Oh, here comes Porker. Oh, pretty kitty wants a treat. Sit. You can be good. Take it. Kyle, he can't hit you. have to break it up for him because his teeth. Break By the way, call the, make sure you call the vet. Can't like rub against toe. Yeah, I like coconut water. Do you don't need any more treats. And he's protective, like he's quote unquote food aggressive too, but like he won't bite winter. Like, winter is the best pair for Vincent because winter is super laid back and relaxed. But, like, he'll be eating and, like, him just growling like you just heard him is because he's eating a treat and winter walked up on him. So, he won't, like, bite or anything, but he does growl and is very protective. Excuse me. Oh, I did not know that, Lissa. Thanks for the information. Yeah, that's how he is. Like I said, he, it, we've had him almost a year now, and he instantly bonded with me. And uh, with Kyle, it's taken a very long time. He even has a hard, like, he just 
if the kids are being too loud, he has a hard time. Like, the kids can't joke around and, like, play fight or anything because they'll start growling. And when because he's old he and a chihuahua, he has hip issues and things like that. So when he's in pain, like, in the wintertime, he gets moody. And sometimes he'll even growl at me, but, like, it's because he doesn't know it's me. Like, if I go to get in the bed and he's under the covers because he sleeps under the covers, he'll start growling till he realizes it's me. Um, but again, it's not like he will bite or anything. It's just the aggression. Um, like Kyle couldn't even snuggle with me for like the first probably six months without him growling. And he still sometimes does it. But I like, again, he was abused. And it's so hard with the training aspect because one, there's no trainers around here because I looked. And two, um, <clears throat> excuse me, two, he's older right? And he's had a lot of trauma. So it makes it really hard to try to retrain him and let him know like, hey, nothing's gonna happen, right? But Kyle like brushes his teeth and, you know, he's very taken care of. He does not like his teeth messed with though, but he's got bad teeth. But I had him, I had blood work done for him at the vet. And um, they said that his teeth weren't infected. And they said his blood work was fine. But I think his teeth are really bad because they never took him to the vet. He went, he's 10 years old. I got him when he's almost 11. I got him when he was like nine and a half, um, 10. And they only took him to the vet, vet two or three times ever. Like he's not fixed or anything. Where did that little light just go? Right there. And we take all of our animals to the vet. Like, we're very strict about that. I mean, he listens pretty good. He, um, you know, he goes outside to go to the bathroom. He, um, every once in a while, he'll pee in the house. But I, before we got him, she told me that he had, like, liver, or kidney failure. And he had all these health issues that he didn't have. <laughs> So when we got him, I went and bought like doggy diapers and like I was prepared for a sick dog and he ended up not being anywhere near what we were expecting as far as like his health and stuff. But every once in a while he'll pee in the house because he does have a very small bladder. But um, so if he gets up and jumps off the bed, I know I need to get in the middle of the night. I know I need to get up and take him outside right away because that means he has to go pee. Um, but he'll go outside. He'll come back. Um, for the most part, if you call him, sometimes he goes up to the house behind us, but they always come back. They don't take off, like take off, take off and he'll sit and that kind of stuff. But it's just the aggression part of things that are, are hard. Cause he is, he does like, he will growl at the, the cat. Winter again is a good pair because winter is so relaxed and him and winter are very, very close. And winter, when Vincent starts getting a little too growly, winter will plop on top of Vincent because <laughs> winter is protective if like someone's being aggressive, right? But he's not gonna, he's not like Vincent. He doesn't growl and do all that stuff. Winter's super, super laid back. They really do, Lissa. Yeah, it's not funny. <laughs> like, at all. I don't like that at all. If anything, it just um, scares them more, right? And just pushes that trauma more. Yep, exactly. That's where I'm a little blessed is because Kyle's been around animals his whole life and he works with dogs and stuff. And so he knows a little bit, well, a lot more than I do when it comes to animals. <clears throat> what are you doing, Vin Man? And he's like, Vincent's literally the sweetest little man. He's the sweetest little old man. He even growls when you pet him. Come here. But it's like a different growl. Yeah, it's so small than my boy. You got eye boogies. Let me see your eye boogies. Let me see your eye boogies. Let me see your eye boogies. He's my boy. You say hi. But yeah, they never got him fixed either. And um, I asked the vet about it, and the vet's like, he's too old now. Like, there's no point. Um, it might even hurt him because he has like um, 
uh, tremors, not tremors, um, muscle spasms really bad. And he twitches a lot. He's a boy's all. He's a boy's. He's a boy's all. What are you doing? What are you doing, Vinian? What are you doing, Vinian? Vincent, 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 Oh yes, my boy. Oh yes, my boys. Is he a chewy chewini? As far as I know from the little bit of that paperwork I have on him, he is just a chihuahua. Uh Winter is a Pomeranian Chihuahua mix. <clears throat> Exactly, Lisa. That's the whole thing. Aww. Deep Solette's so cute. You've been mean, huh? He's the only animal that, out of the ones we've had, that we didn't change his name because he's older, right? Winter, we changed. He didn't really have a name before we got him. And he was two, almost three when we got him. But the lady who had him had dementia. So she called him, like, all these different names. But Winter is so freaking smart. Um, He, like, learned his name right away. It was very bizarre. <laughs> like, we said it. And he, like, instantly started answering to it. Um, And then Ninja used to be named Felix. Um, but that did not fit him at all because he's like a ninja. He's so light on his feet and he is a hunter. And then, um, and he's so quiet. <laughs> and then, um, our other cat, our oldest cat, our first animal together, she originally was named Kit Kit, but we just call her Pretty Kitty. <laughs> Me too, Lisa. Yeah, he's only six pounds. He's six pounds. So he might be a, ch a chew chewini. I don't know, to be honest with you. But I got to pick him up a certain way because of his back leg. But he's not very big. He's light as a feather. He's a man. Vin man. Vin man. Vin man. He's like, I'm not having this. I smell food. Was there food on here? Oh, I keep knocking that darn light down. I'm going to be covered in animal hair. It's all your fault, Vincent. Where's that other light? Where'd the light go? Turn up the lights in here, baby. It's just a light. It's just a light, my boys. My vimit, look at that tail wag, look at that tail wag, look at that tail wag, oh, is it my boy? <laughs> Aw, I love that. Deep soul, it's so cute. Excuse me. Yeah, you might have a, um, do you have a teacup? A teacup chihuahua? Because there's different um, types of of um, dogs in general. Like, there's toy. Like, look at poodles. Poodles can be, like, this big to, like, huge. Right? Right, my old man? It's my vain man. It's my vain man. What are you doing, Ben? What are you doing, vain man? Oh. 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 He'll howl, too. Kyle can make him howl. <laughs> I don't want to hurt your ears. All right, guys, I'm probably going to get off live just so I can get this video filmed that I've been procrastinating doing all day. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's how he is. If you howl, he'll start howling. It's so cute. I'll let you guys know, though, if I hear anything back from the company. Why are you growling? Your tail's going. It's just pretty key. You better stop growling at my pretty girl. You better stop growling at my pretty girl. You better stop growling at my pretty girl. Vincent. Vin. No. That's my girl. She's number one. Asari. She's the number one queen at this house. She's the number one queen at this house. He gets so jealous of her. Like, he just literally look at him. Because she walked in. So he is like, where did she go? There she is. It's my girl. What are you doing, my girl? This is why he sat on me. He's my girl. Look at those paws. Vincent, you better stop. Look how chunky she is. Give me your my girl. Vincent. No, Vin. Vin, no. He's my girl. She was in this cute thing earlier where she was laying on her back and she was like, I was rubbing her belly and she just like looked up at me and was like, come on, mom. She had her little paws out like this, like up like this. It was so cute. Her name's Pretty Kitty. Pretty Kitty. Vincent, stop. She's the jealous one and he's the jealous one. But she's the only female of them all. The rest are boys. Yep, she's not faithful. Because she knows she's the queen, man. She doesn't like other cats. She still goes after our other cat, but he's like a beast. And he's an outdoor cat where she's an indoor cat. She's so lovable when it comes to like humans, but other cats, I think it's from her being feral. She doesn't like them. Like, we've wanted to get kittens and stuff, like, adopt kittens and other cats. But there's just no way because of how mean she is to other cats. She is a chunk. Well, see, what happened, she, she was really small when we got her, obviously, because she was so malnutritioned from living outside. And um, when she would eat, like, too much, like, overeat, and then when we got Ninja, when we rescued Ninja, which I just went to my friend's house one day and they were like, you want to take a cat? We're just going to let him outside. So I was like, yeah, I'll take him. And I was scared because I knew she wasn't going to like it and she still doesn't like him. And we've had him for over a year now, if not two years now. But like I said, she's the indoor cat. He's the outdoor cat. So like they don't really cross paths that often. But anyways, um, when we got him, the other cat, she started to eat more. So, like, she will literally scream at you if there's only a little bit of food in her dish. And she's, like, really picky. She has to have, like, her own water dish, everything. So, the other cat, like, even goes to the bathroom outside. She's the only one that uses the litter box. Um... But he comes in to eat and stuff like that. Or, like, if the weather is bad, obviously, he comes in and everything. He's like a dog. He meows at the door, scratches at the door. And I never wanted him to be an outdoor cat because we live in the middle of nowhere. And there's a lot of wildlife. But he loves to be outside. And he finds a way to get outside. Like, he'll literally somehow get into the basement and sneak out through a hole somewhere. Like, he will find a way outside. <laughs> Oh yeah, she. I've noticed that tiger cats are pretty. A lot of people have a cat that looks like her. I've noticed tiger cats are pretty popular. Thank you. Yeah, that's how Ninja is. Ninja looks really skinny, like in pictures and stuff, but he's so long and he weighs a lot because he's so long. But he has Maine Coon in him, so and he's the. He's a black, long-haired cat with really pretty green eyes. Like, Ninja's as big as Vincent. I think he's bigger than Vincent, actually. 
they are good at taking care of themselves. Absolutely. She's very territorial. Both of them are territorial. Him and her. Vincent and her. But he gets very jealous of her when it comes to me. He gets jealous of anyone around me. Like, he's literally my baby. My brother calls him my Paris Hilton dog. Because <laughs> he's, like, literally always with me. Mm, aren't you? Aren't you, Vinian? He sleeps with me under the covers. He's my old man. Even when I go to the bathroom, he'll sit in the bathroom with me under my feet. Huh, my man. Don't you? You're still looking at her. She's just hanging out. She's just hanging out. Don't get mad. Get glad. <clears throat> you want to say bye, Vincent? Say bye. We're going to go. Say bye. Mommy's going to go. She's going to go film. She go. Stop eating the bugs flying around. He eats bugs. You know how cats eat bugs? He will eat the bugs flying around. Oh, good night, Lissa. I have to go, too. Have a good night. But, um, yeah, I will try and go live tomorrow night. Um, I don't know what we'll go live about yet, <laughs> but I'll try to go live tomorrow night. Um, tomorrow's going to be a busy day, so I have to spend a lot of the rest of the night doing stuff. Um, but I feel like because I slept so much today, I'll be good. My sleep schedule's out of whack. For sure, like a thousand percent, <laughs> thousand percent out of whack. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for testing with us and having fun, blah, 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 blah. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I should have a video posted tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow early afternoon, we shall see and um definitely doing card readings next week deep soul i need to talk to you as well because I, I, we got to do a collab got to figure this out and um that stream i want to do a stream collab or something i don't know we'll figure it out um but yeah good night deep soul good night asriel good night sauce boss good night everybody Peace out, boy scale.